Was Jinger Vulo pointing a finger at Erin Bates in her new book? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The former Counting on Stars memoir might include a few details about the former bringing up Bates Star's life. Fans are wondering if it's purely a coincidence or if there's something going on between these two. So, what did Jinger say? And why do fans think it might have been directed at Aaron? Keep reading for all of the juicy details. In case you missed the news, Jinger recently released a new memoir titled Becoming Free Indeed. The book follows her journey as she deconstructed her family's strict religion. She grew up following the IBLP, Institute in Basic Life Principles. However, she is no longer associated with this branch of Christian fundamentalism. She remains a Christian, but her views and beliefs have drastically changed. As fans have read through Jinger Wolo's new book, they have discussed certain sections online or speculated about some of the more vague details. This time, readers are wondering if she might be calling out her family friend Erin Bates. On Reddit, a Duggar snarker shared a snippet from Becoming Free Indeed and asked other fans if it sounds familiar. The mom is in her home with morning sickness from pregnancy for half the year, trying to manage and homeschool five kids. Duggar snarkers on Reddit suspect that Jinger Vulo might have been pointing a finger at Erin Bates in part of her new book. Erin and her husband Chad Payne have five children, seven-year-old Charles Carson, six-year-old Brooklyn, four-year-old Everly, three-year-old Holland, and one-year-old Finley. In response to the mentioned segment of Jinger's book, one fan said, Sounds like Erin Bates to me. She crammed four kids in one bedroom of their two-bedroom rental. Some fans think this description could also describe Jessa Sewell's family. Someone commented, This is everyone, but specifically screams Anna, Erin Bates, Tori Bates, and Jessa to me. It's unclear if Jinger Vulo intended for it to be about any one person, or if it's simply an example. Nonetheless, fans have found several people it could have been about. So do you think that Jinger Vulo might have been pointing a finger at Erin Bates in her new book? Or do you think she was just offering a general example and happened to describe Erin? Sound off in the comments section below and come back to TV shows Ace for more news about the Duggar and Bates family.